just love, I want everything Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple I started out in the rental, so now that the presidential Speak once and listen twice, they told me that less is simple I'm observing in the room, I'll be flying it's Alicia if you are new welcome to my channel and if you are a faithful subscriber as I always say welcome home you guys today is the first day of this bathroom makeover if you're just now joining my channel I'm going to link the video where I explain all of my decorating ideas and my makeover ideas for this bathroom I'm gonna link it in the description box for you below but if you already know what's going on I want you to know that today is the day that I am going to finally start on this whole bathroom makeover um, and it's a it's a rainy day today but that's my favorite weather so excuse the lighting if it gets a little crazy um, during the course of the video but I'm going to start off by showing you what we're starting with and we're going to start with this whole vanity mirror situation and um, do that today and then we're going to move on to the next phase of this bathroom makeover so if you're ready to see the first phase of this makeover yeah, okay guys, watching. so the first phase of this makeover is going to be my vanity and if you see it's it's in need of a lot <laughs> of work, but I feel like I can tackle it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this peel and stick vinyl. I'm going to take that off. I'm also going to be taking off this trim to the mirror. I'm going to be painting um, this um, the countertops. I'm also going to be painting the actual vanity counter. Going to take off these um, pulls and this hardware and get it ready for some new hardware. And that's going to be the first phase. So we're going to take this off. Going to clean the mirror up really good. Going to put some new trim up. Um, probably going to install the lighting that goes um, between here. And so anyways, you guys, let's get started. Hey guys that's all done and you guys I'm not even gonna lie to you that vinyl fought me that it's really good vinyl I actually ordered it from um, Amazon I think and it's been on for years and when I tell you it sticks it was guaranteed to be a really good vinyl when I bought it and it did so if you want to do a good makeover but nothing permanent if you're living in an apartment and you want then that vinyl is the way to go and I will try to look it up and I will try to link it in the description box um but yeah it fought me I mean I look at me I don't even look the same as I did when I first came on camera I mean like I've been sweating in the whole nine yards but anyway I have all of it off so now I've got some Dawn and some soft some um soft scrub and I am going to just clean this up really good because I want it nice and clean before I paint I'm also just going to go ahead and take the time to clean the mirror um, so I can, you know, get it prepped. Um, and I'm going to um, go ahead and clean this and then I'll come back and we'll go through the next step. Okay. All right. So let's, let's clean this. Okay guys, so I got that all cleaned up and now I'm ready to paint. I'm gonna paint the vanity top before I paint the cabinets um, because I don't care about the paint from the countertop getting on the 
vent on the cabinets, but I wouldn't want it in reverse because the cabinets are going to be black. Um, but let me um, show you guys. So everything is nice and clean. Clean the mirror. Don't mind that stuff in the bathtub. Clean the mirror. And I'll, and what I like about my mirror is that it's not um, glued to the wall. It has these um, brackets here so that when I do want to change it out, you just take it out of the brackets and um, and oh, so I don't I like want to change the mirrors right now because it goes with the look that I'm looking for to be able to put the sconces um, between the vanities and then the trim around the mirror. So it works for what I'm doing now. So now I'm getting ready to paint this vanity. So let me show you guys what I'm going to use to do that. And then we'll paint this vanity and we'll move on from there. So I'm wore out. I look like a wild woman now. But anyway, let me show you guys what I'm using to paint to the paint countertops. the countertop i am going to this is trial and error um I, i'm going to use the rust-oleum universal advanced formula satin paint and primer in one i'm going to use this to paint the countertops and then i'm going to go over it with an appliance um, clear epoxy um, and so hopefully this will give me the look i'm looking for um, this is supposed to go on nice and smooth but I'll be honest with you, and we'll see how it goes. And if it goes well, then I'm happy. And if it doesn't, then I'll be honest with you, and you'll get to see me um, figure out what I'm going to do instead of doing this. But for now, I'm going to take off my um, faucets, and we're going to tape off the bottom of the mirror. I don't want to get it painted, and then we're going to go from there. So cross your fingers. All right, guys, so I had to step out of there. The fans are on, the windows are open, the countertops are drying. I don't know if I'll have to give it another coat or not, or if the epoxy will be enough. I think I've got pretty good coverage, but we'll see. So anyways, I'm gonna give that time to dry and we'll come back. Okay, guys, so everything has, has dried. I do wanna tell you guys that I did have to get a mask and I recommend that you get a mask. The paint fumes are not good for us. Make sure the windows are open in here. I have a fan going in here and everything. So after I started painting, I was like, wait a minute, let me get a mask. And so off camera, I did that. I'm getting ready to do the epoxy. Um, it's, it says that it's going, that the drying time in 70 degrees to 50% relative humidity is, um, it's dry to the touch in two to four hours. It, um, you can handle it in five to nine hours and it's fully dry in 24 hours. So give it time to do that. I really like the process. I used one whole can of the Rust-Oleum um, paint. I, it gave me a smooth finish. It looks really, really good. Um, I don't know if I did to, had to do it all over again, if I would, because the, the, um, the film or the, the mist, the fumes from it, get on the floor you know so just make sure you cover everything if you're going to do this and well ventilate your room to be able to do it but anyways getting ready to do this and um after i get this on then i'm going to start on painting the actual vanity and then i'll do the trim around the mirror and then i'll try and install the sconces that go on the mirror so still have some work to do i also went through and made sure i got all the the little residue from the from my glue gun that I had the other border glued on and I didn't go crazy with it I only did it in certain areas so because I knew that one day I would take it off and I didn't want to have a bunch of caked on glue to have to get off and so keep that in mind if you ever do that but anyway let's do this epoxy and see how things look after I do I'm gonna start with a small area that's a little inconspicuous in case something goes wrong so anyways let's do this and then we'll keep moving on in this project okay this is just the vanity guys i still have everything else to do but we're gonna get it done one step at a time you guys hang in there with me so let's get this done okay guys so um got that done and it is drying i i want to move on to kind of taking the the um fixtures off of the vanity cabinet but 
I need to let the fumes in there air out a little bit before I'm in there. Um, I'm gonna put my mask on after it airs out a little bit and then go in there and try to start removing those so that I can um, go ahead and start painting the vanity and then we will see how far we get. So um, I don't know how much further it's starting. It's, it's already a gloomy day today anyway, and then but then now, of course, it's getting later in the day. And um, I have a women's meeting at church to go to tonight. So I don't know how much more I'll get done today, but we will pick up where we leave off tomorrow if I have to, which will probably be, if at least if I get all the painting done um, tonight, then we're in a good place because then tomorrow it'll be just um, installing the hardware, um, the um, trim around the mirror, um, putting up the sconces that go in between the two sinks and, um, you know, things like that. Won't be any painting, won't be any fumes. But I do need to get all the painting done tonight because I don't, I mean, we have two other bathrooms in this house, but I mean, that's our bathroom and I don't want to lock, put my husband, incapacitate him <laughs> from the bathroom. But anyways, guys, um, that's what's going on now. It's, um, I'm finished. I know in the clip, because it's sped up, it looks like I'm just spraying everywhere, but I really wasn't. It, it looks like that, but really it was in, you know, a sweeping motion going back and forth and not, you know, rushing it and just kind of taking my time. Um, but yeah, you guys, wear a mask. Wear a mask because it makes a difference and ventilate your room and put a fan in there if you can. But anyway, um, I'm rambling now. I'm gonna let it air out just a little bit more and then I'll go in there and start taking the hardware off and prepping the vanity for paint, all right? So we'll see you then. Okay guys, so I'm back in here and it's, you know, the um, epoxy is not as um, toxic smelling <laughs> as the paint. It's not as strong, not toxic, it's not as strong as the paint was. And it looks really nice, like it gave it that shine that you need. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see it. it of course, it's still drying because I'm, I'm like, I just did it. But it's, um, the fumes are good. Like I don't even have to really wear my mask in here. The fan is on, so I hope you guys can hear me over the fan. But yeah, I'm getting ready to start removing this hardware. And, um, and then we're gonna paint this vanity. So let's get this done. But let me turn this around and let you guys see so far. And like I said, it's still drying, but it looks good so far. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. It just is really looking so nice. It is, even the sinks, because that is um, appliance epoxy. So it looks, it looks really good. Now I'm wondering when I, take up the tape underneath there, yeah. the color is going to blend or if I'm going to have to do some touch-up spray, but if painting, but if I do, I will, but it looks really good. So now let's get the hardware, this hardware off and let's get ready to paint. All right. guys for um, painting the cabinets I'm using this rust-oleum um, cabinet transformation basic cabinet and trim paint in black um, and it is a semi-gloss so that's what I'm using so let's start painting Ready for the trim so I'm going to I think I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put the trim on 
but I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to do the um, fixtures and just because I want to let the cabinets completely dry overnight before I start doing any of that. But it is looking really good. Don't mind the floors. <laughs> they have residue of paint on them, but they're gonna they're gonna get redone anyway. So let's try and do this trim and then we'll call it a day and I'll see you guys when I pick this back up. But let's try and so do this. So guys, trim. remember I told you that this trim is self-adhesive. There's a little pack of um, nail glue in there. I put that in there. But it's, this is the trim and it has this peel on the back of it that you just peel and stick. I think I have enough. I, I ordered two rolls of this, so we will see. So anyway, let's try so I just wanted time. to come on and say that I've cut my pieces so that I have my 45 degree angles um, so that now I can just go ahead and put everything up and, and get it all done. So let's get that done. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. I love the mirror. It turned out so nice. Hey guys, the countertops, the vanity. So I think I'm gonna stop here for now and I will come back tomorrow and we will go from here, I think. I don't know if I'll, I may come back and do the sconces, but we'll see. If, if you don't see me come back to do the sconces, we'll be doing that tomorrow. All right, so we'll see you then. Okay guys, it's the next day and if you're, you're, it's actually Super Bowl Sunday if you're watching this and at my church every Super Bowl Sunday, we dress in our favorite team attire. So you guys, in case you didn't know, now you know. So, I uh, wanted to show you guys the sconces that I'm doing. If you remember the ins my inspiration picture that I showed you guys, the sconces in them had just a tiny bit of black at the top and at the bottom. And I really, really like that look and I want to um, replicate that in the, in the um, sconces that I'm doing. So, these are my shades and they of course they came with my sconces and I have taped off with um, just some painters tape so that I can have just a thin line of black around the top and the bottom so I'm gonna do that and then um, I also will show you the sconces um, and what we're gonna do um, to put those on the mirror but I also wanted to show you guys what I've done with the fixtures now I I had fixtures in my cart for Amazon, um, but I'm just like, oh, I'd have to wait for my husband to change those out and this, that, and the third, and I just, I don't have the time. I, like, I need to get this bathroom done. So I, last night off camera, I did go ahead and paint the fixtures um, for the bathroom, and I also started the shower doors. So you guys can see in the background, but I will show you those more in detail when I actually get to those areas. Um, and it, and it's, it probably won't be today because um, we're concentrating on the vanity area, but everything dried up really nicely. And um, the um, appliance epoxy really made everything durable. So, but anyway, these are my shades. So let's go ahead and get these done like the inspiration picture. Then we'll install the sconces and we'll see where we're gonna go from there. All right, so let's get that done. Okay guys, so this is what it turned out and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna change my clothes and then we'll come back and get the sconces installed. Sconces right. are easy to put together. I already have this one done, and I just wanted to show you how to put them together. Really easy, it comes in three pieces. Um, well, there's four pieces, these four pieces here. So you're gonna just um, screw this, the bottom part onto here. It's so simple, like really simple. 
and you're gonna screw this top part on here like this. So easy to do. And then you're gonna take this piece and put it. You're gonna put it just in here like this. Oops. Okay. So here. So easy. And like I said, I love these because there's no hard wiring or anything like that. Um, if you didn't. Um, like I said, if you're just now joining, then um, watch my video where I'm showing everything that my plans for this room. And then I just take this because I want this to go that way. So I'm just going to tighten that up. Okay. same thing on this side and the lampshades are all done as you can see sitting there they look nice all right and then guys I need to get the um, bulb and tighten that up a little bit and then these are the bulbs that um, you plug into your USB let me let you see the bottoms of them and they charge and then of course you have the remote control that can turn them on or off and then there's other settings on it too where you know you can do other things with them but these are pretty easy too because you just want to first we're going to put our shades on so you unscrew this sit your shade on there and then put this back down tight there we go okay and then we put our bulb in so I'm gonna do this other one off camera and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to install them I'm gonna use this um, gorilla because you can do them where you can put it on your wall if you want it to look like that or if you want it to look like this and this is the way i'm going to do it and you can um use this for your screws but i'm going to use the gorilla tape and i'm just going to go across the back of here with it and adhere it to the um to the mirror i hope i think that fits we'll see i'll be back okay guys so I have my, let me tell you what I did here. So I did this line of the painter's tape just to make sure that the lamps are even. And then after I did that, I marked where they're centered between these two um, lamp, between the lamp, the vanity lamp that's up above. And then this is the space where they will go. So that's what this is all about because <laughs> I know it looks crazy, but that's what this is all about. So I will know that this one needs to go here and this one needs to go here so they're even, okay? All right, so anyways, let's get them on the wall. Okay guys, while these look beautiful here, I will be honest with you and let you know that one of them would not stay. So I ended up making the decision to take them both down and relocated them and in the final reveal, I'll show you where their new home is. We also added the fixtures to the vanity cabinet and this is how it turned out and I think that it looks very, very nice. Hey guys, so that's it for this video. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and you guys don't forget to enjoy all the little things in life. It's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. You guys, stay tuned for part two. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.